Hey guys, Jimmy Vegas here, and today we are taking a look at an asset in the asset store called Rocks Pack. It is by Vervault. Um, so there is a particular reason why I took a look at this. Um, I mean, just to give you a bit of context, there are many, many assets I look at, but I don't review them all. This is one um, I felt I kind of had to talk about. So let's get into it. Now, obviously, we get uh, the rocks because that's what it is. It's a rocks pack. Uh, looking at it, nice demo scene. Um, and we get what, four rocks. I mean, yeah, OK, I suppose that could be classed as a pack. Uh, quality, not exactly the best, if I'm honest. Textures are a little bit blurry on this one. Um, I've, I've definitely seen better rocks uh, in the asset store. And I know you're thinking it's just rocks, Jimmy. It is just rocks, of course it is, but rocks do play a massively important role in a lot of games, believe it or not. Uh, I don't feel there's enough variation here. They're very square, all of them. There's, there's just no good variation, which is a little bit unfortunate. Uh, Quantity-wise, we get uh, three different rocks, and these two uh, are indeed one on top of each other. Uh, so it does give the impression that there are four different types, obviously. I was wrong, there are only three. And once again, I will come back to why I said there was four and there is only three. Uh, you will see a little later on this video. Obviously, sample scene, always good to see. Uh, and we do get the source, everything here in a folder, which I find these folders laid out a little bit peculiar, but I don't think that's bad necessarily. Uh, we've got everything we need, at least. Um, you can customize it. You can change the rocks if you want to. You know, it co always comes down to it if you want to change them to... Uh, say an albedo alpha, change the material, make them shiny. You know, it's always down to you to modify these to make them look however you want them to look. How versatile are they? Well, they're rocks. I mean, there's not much more you can say, to be honest, that they're as versatile as they're going to be. They're rocks. Um, how would you use them? To be honest, you'd use them in pretty much any kind of game. I mean, if you go and look at most games you play, you will find many different types of rocks. You never seem to notice these things, but there are rocks in almost every single game that you play. Right, so let's get a little bit further into this. Now let's discuss the price and the size, and then we'll go from there. So it is indeed free, as you would expect, because this is a demo of um, a bigger pack, and it is only just under three meg, which also is good. Now, one thing that really bothered me about this particular asset is if you start looking through the pictures, you will see this. And you'll notice this from the thumbnail. And you'll also notice the big red arrow pointing to this here, scene not included. I have issues with people who put assets on the asset store and include things that are not inside the asset pack. As we can clearly see, some of this shouldn't really be here. If this scene isn't included in the asset pack, you should not be putting this picture up here. Um, I don't think developers should be doing that because it's very misleading. I mean, in all fairness, yeah, we get that. But once again, scene not included. One would be very confused if you go down and see one demo scene is included in the pack. So you can see why I would be a little bit irked at what is going on here. I don't think this should really be here. I mean, like I say, most of the time you need to add your own touch. You shouldn't really be taking these demo scenes. Make them your own. I mean, realistically, if you look at it, you can probably see maybe this one is an angled version of one of the rocks, uh, maybe this one. But that still doesn't pull away from the fact that scene not included is a big thing here. I really think developers should not be doing that. It's, I, I, like I say, it's misleading. Uh, to add to that, I don't think these rocks are all that special. They are low quality. Uh, I mean, you can see how blurry that texture is. I don't think it's very good. They would be useful for some things, of course, and you can always add your own spin to these assets. Um, but again, that's entirely down to you. So as you guys know, I don't rate assets. I either recommend them or I don't. And unfortunately, I wouldn't recommend this one. Um, I flat out would not recommend anybody try this asset. There are better rocks out there. There are better quality rocks out there. There are more rocks that are free out there. And I just don't think this is worth your time even taking a look at. And it's unfortunate. I know it's it's not very often I don't recommend assets completely, but I don't think this is worth your time at all. And I think what really added to that is that right there, scene not included. That's a bad move from this creator. You shouldn't be doing that. That's It's misleading against people. 
Um, so, yeah, have you used this asset yourself, guys? Uh, if you have, let me know what you think of it. Maybe you completely disagree with me. That's fine. No worries. Um, yeah, if you've got an asset on asset store as well, let me know. I'd love to check it out. And finally, don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell to be notified whenever I upload something like this or something on game development. Hope to see you around in another video. Thanks for watching, guys.